ですね。うん
at the Black Cat, uh, the original Black Cat, to like hundreds of people in the main area. So that's who they were talking about. And um, then I remember after that, I was at the Black Cat once. And I forget how I learned of this, but someone said, that's Allison Wolf. That's who they're talking about. I said, that chick? I said, she lives in the Mount Pleasant neighborhood where I live. I've seen her multiple times with her glasses, her retro outfits, riding around on her bicycle through the Mount Pleasant area. I said, so that's who that is. Okay. So now I think she... Many, many years later, this is Generation X, man. This is like mid-90s, okay? So, um, but there was another very popular, legendary underground band that was on Kill Rockstar's record label at the same time that Bratmobile was, I think, called Bikini Kill. Um, and I think another band called Sleater Kenny came on another band called Sleater Kenny that came on later. I'm, I'm not sure. I, I don't have all of it pinned down. But the bottom line is they were a very big part of the original Black Cat scene. And that's what those female punk rock chips said to me while I was dining and having a very late, tiresome, early morning breakfast inside of Tasty's Diner. So now... Um, I think she has a podcast show on Apple, I believe, called I'm in the Band, hosted by Allison Wolf. So I'm pretty sure that's who they were talking about. If I'm wrong, so be it. Um, I'm just telling it as it happened, okay? All right, Jorge Shana DC, D. Serbutatio, Formulae, the Roman Emperor of Luke, all of them and all of it clear. Eternalism. <laughs>